We're learning that CBI raids are underway at nine locations in Delhi, NCR and Rajasthan, including properties which are linked to former JNK Governor Satyapal Malik's press secretary. Now, the searches are in connection with corruption charges against Malik and agency sources have told CNN News 18 that press secretary Sunak Bali is the main suspect in two corruption cases that the CBI has registered. All of the places that are being raided are connected to Malik's present and former aides. So again, multiple locations are being raided. Specifically, what we're learning is that nine locations located in Delhi NCR and Rajasthan uh, are being raided. These include properties linked to former JNK Governor Satyapal Malik's press secretary. Now, the searches are in connection with corruption charges against Malik, and agency sources have told CNN News 18 that press secretary Sunak Bali is the main suspect in two corruption cases that the CBI has previously registered. Now, all of the places, I remember nine locations are being raided in Delhi and Rajasthan, all of the places that are being raided are connected to Malik's present and former aides. So we'll be connecting with our reporter to get you more details on this information. But again, what we do know are that CBI raids are underway at nine locations, again, in Delhi, NCR and Rajasthan. Now, when it comes to the raids, what we do know is that the raids are being conducted on properties which have been linked to former JNK Governor Satipal Malik's press secretary. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's editor Arnama to get us more details on this. Uh, Arnama, so we've been able to tell our viewers about the fact that the CBI is raiding nine locations, Delhi and Rajasthan. Uh, the raids are in, con are in connection to, to corruption cases. Can you tell us more about those? So just to take you back a few months, Satyapal Malik has been alleging and this allegation has been made in television interviews as well, uh, web interviews as well, that when he was the Jammu and Kashmir governor, there were attempts made to influence him as far as some decisions regarding medical insurance for the Jammu and Kashmir employees are concerned. And there was, uh, he, he made this allegation that 300 crore worth of bribe money was at stake to influence this decision. Both these allegations, there were two cases of uh, Prevention of Corruption Act that were registered by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Malik himself was questioned uh, last month for about five hours or more. And now these searches are being carried out at the premises associated with his former aide, uh, his former press secretary. Now, the allegations that Malik had made were also against certain uh, functionaries who were associated uh, with um, the RSS, but the CBI is clarifying that searches are not being conducted uh, against those people. It is limited to the former aides of Satyapal Malik. So that uh, leaves a huge question mark whether CBI's probe actually has found merit in the allegations that Malik made or they have found that the allegation itself were a part of a grand conspiracy. Uh, so that we are waiting to know from the CBI what they find out after these searches are carried. Has any statement come in from Satyapal Malik about these raids? Not yet, not yet. In fact, uh, after the questioning happened also, um, you know, when he first was summoned as a witness, uh, he said that I am here to tell all that I know. And then five hours of questioning happened. He didn't come out and clarify uh, what was said. CBI did give us give us a few pointers about uh, the questioning that had happened. Uh, but now that these searches are on and the charge is being made that his former aide is in the dock, we are waiting for the former JNK governor to tell us uh, what he has to say about this. Now, these properties that are linked to the former JNK governor, uh, Satyapal Malik's press secretary, do we know whether this includes residences, offices? Are there any specific details? Uh, yes, uh, these are premises linked uh, to his former press secretary. In uh, Initially, the, the, the word that got out was that these were premises being raided in Delhi NCR and Jammu and Kashmir. But now it has been clarified uh, that the premises are in Rajasthan and Delhi and uh, National Capital Region. Uh, these are uh, not just his property, but properties associated with his aides as well. So it looks like a chain of people uh, associated with, uh, with Mr. Malik, his former press secretary, and people who are known to him, their residences, uh, and also the premises, uh, you know, non-residential premises linked with them. Absolutely. Anima, please stay with us. There's some more breaking news.